Olá, gente, tudo bem? Boa noite. Meu nome é Giovanni Tambellini e eu sou responsável pela Operação das Américas. Estou muito feliz por estar aqui hoje. Good evening, everybody. My name is Giovanni Tambellini. I'm head of Americas and I am thrilled to be the bearer of great news. Because tonight, I'm going to talk about ultrasonics. More specifically, about the Pandit family that is dedicated to perform tomography in concrete. Let me tell you a fact. We're having a little... Yeah, now I can tell you. Fine. GPR has been positioned as the leader in tomography for concrete. Wasn't it about ultrasonics? Well, it will be if I tell you a secret. But the full problem set in concrete inspection goes much beyond just GPR. Let me use a little physics to explain why. The two most popular methods for identifying flaws and objects in concrete are ultrasonic pulse echo and GPR, right? There are two situations where we need to analyze. One is the presence of steel in concrete, and the other is the presence of air in concrete. Let's take a look at these situations. Concrete in steel. GPR waves will be fully reflected on steel. It's like a mirror, and we cannot see behind the mirror. How do we solve it? Well, ultrasonic pulse echo waves will travel through steel, and part of them will be reflected back. When we analyze the second situation I mentioned, which, which is air in concrete, the story is totally different. GPR waves will travel through air, and part of them will reflect back. Only, only part of them. Ultrasonic pulse echo waves, though, will be almost fully reflected back like a mirror. So now we understand why voids and deluminations will be fully visible if we use ultrasonic pulse echo waves. And we also understand why it's so important to use this technology, the ultrasonic pulse echo, to analyze and inspect steel fiber concrete. The same thing happens with grouting defects, where we need to identify the presence of air. Cables embedded in concrete in structures, they can lead to massive, massive defects if they're not properly grouted. Now my question, can you do this using GPR? I don't think so, right? Well, using this technology, you can also inspect very deep, up to 300 centimeters. Again, concrete GPRs don't come even close to this. And that's why I say that using this technology, the ultrasonic pulse echo, with this, we can inspect very deep in concrete. We can see flaws that are really deep, really there. So it's a need in the industry, and it would be really nice to have an equipment that could perform all of these nice features, right? Well, we do have it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pundit Live Array. This is an instrument that performs measurements in real time. And thanks to our powerful and unmatched software, can process images as you measure. You can then see the results on your iPad, Web2, and you can share it with everybody involved in the process. This equipment is really ergonomic. It has AI positioning, and a sensor array. This is how it looks like in the field. It's really user-friendly. And let me tell you how it works. It's much easier to understand. There are eight channels. Each channel will send a signal, and the other channels will listen. With this, we're able to make 56 measurements at a time. It's really fast and really precise. And 
Best of all, your image will be right there on your iPad. You can then analyze, take notes, tag the relevant objects, or you can even use our AI tag function to help you identify back wall. Now I ask you, how smart is that? If we use our time slice function, we can travel through the structure. With this, we identify every single flaw or element in the structure. And this is not all. I can give you more. Just swipe your fingers on the screen, and you will immediately have 3D visualization. Easy like this. No post-processing, no wasting time. And now, I am proud to announce our new acquisition of the Intercept Pro software. Thank you. Thank you. Let me explain what this software is. This is a premier software package used by specialists to perform post-processing in their image data. And now we have it. But now we will defy the laws of physics with software, naturally, right? We're just launching our 4.0 version of our app. And this brings game changer functions, like the high definition focus. With this, we can better see still in a concrete structure, especially the smaller elements. It takes a whole new approach on algorithms for us to be able to come to the results we were able to get. We had to rethink information processing, and the results can now be seen. This is an image created a conventional approach. Attention. And this is the image created using our 4.0 version with artificial intelligence and algorithms created from scratch. Best of all, you see it right on your iPad. I just love it. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Another great function, and it's a breakthrough, is the macro vision. With this function, we can see still elements that are closely spaced in concrete. And when I say closely spaced in concrete, the inspectors here may be asking, but how is this possible, Giovanni? Well, our super engineering team worked very hard and created the perfect combination between frequencies and voltages to make this happen. Take a look at this again. This is an image created using a conventional approach. Blur, right? Like we look at there, and then it's really hard, if not impossible, to identify the elements that are in the picture. But now, if you see what we were able to achieve with our software platform, <laughs> my god, this is just incredible. <laughs> and our software is getting, thank you. It is, it is super incredible, really. Like a, but it's not all, it's not all. Our software is getting so smart that it can now perform AI material identification. Yeah. Through an artificial intelligence algorithm, the software can distinguish between metal and air. To me, this is like mind-blowing. OK, so now. I want to show you a short video so all of us can see this beauty in action.
thanks. <laughs> That's how I feel as well. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. We covered a lot of features tonight, right? But I'm pretty sure a few of you in here noticed that we are unlocking one more feature. Augmented reality. And the nicest thing is that all of these cool features will be available to you later this year. We are constantly adding features and improvements to our software, which allows new capabilities to be used in your device. We just launched the version 4.0 tonight, and we are already working the future. So now, let's go back to that first statement, my first slide. ProSec GPR Live is the co-leader in tomography for concrete, together with Pandit Live Array, of course. <laughs> Thanks. So in summary, performing GPR scans and using the complementary power of the Pundit Live Array gives you the full picture. And this is value. Thank you. <laughs> and now I want to introduce a friend that, just like the country where he comes from, links east and west. Risto, is it with you?